efficacy, energy, ability, power through God's ability. Amen. That is what the Greek rendering meaning of power is. Do not might, power, authority. The Bible says in the book of John 14, 12 to 4, uh, 14, it says that verily, verily I say unto you, he that believeth in, on, on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do. Because I go unto my Father, and whatsoever ye shall ask of my name, that will I do. And the Father may be glorified in the Son, if ye shall also ask anything in my name, I will do it. Amen. We are linked with the power and authority. So anything you say, he does it. You Amen. don't do it. Just say it. At times I say, I'm going to pray for you. If you get healed, praise God. If you don't get healed, I am not God. Amen. Because God says that we shall pray for the sick. The sick will be healed. So God, I'm praying you know, for this man. If you don't heal him, I don't care. You disgrace yourself for me. It's not me. Uh, it is him. Yeah. So if I pray and the person don't get you, God, you you have disgraced yourself. And you see, God will never disgrace himself. Never. 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 That, is, that, is, that is very simple. Never. So you don't lose. When you pray and the person don't get you, you don't lose. Mm -hmm. Because Never. God has a way of doing things. Never. You can pray suddenly, somebody will get you. You can pray, somebody will get you maybe in the next year. That's right. So you just pray to God. Amen. We Christians, we have something, but we don't know. Amen. We have power. We have authority. Just speak it out. Amen. Even when you, you are sick, you speak it out. Amen. Yeah. I remember in Denver, Colorado, I used to work in is it Texas. I used to live there. And one guy went to conspire with them. You see, the white people, they always... <laughs> he came and I was there. The supervisor at that house. I used to work in a group home. He went to lie about me to the boss. So they called me. I knew something was, there was something on the mountain. Something was on the mountain. So when they called me, what I went to, I went to my bedroom and I left and I said, God, I don't know what is going on. But if there is something going on, as I knelt here, yes, Lord. Defend me there. Amen. Because I've, I know I have not done anything wrong. I did it. I just stopped. I didn't pray. <laughs> you see, prayer is talking. Yes. The one that you talk is more effective than the other. No one. God listens very well Amen. when you do it from your heart. Amen. 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 The man who is taking your husband, the woman who is taking your husband from you. Just sit down and say, Father, <laughs> this woman, <laughs> may you torment her ah, until she. Because <laughs> <is. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> you hey. see, hey. about 90% of the battles we have, uh -huh. you don't have to fight with your strength. Yes. 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 Fight on your knees. Yes. 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 Go on your knees. Yes. 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 So that when you see you or see when they see me, they will run away. Glory. So you know what happened? Anytime they go to report you and they call you, you are fired. That, that is what they do to you. Do you know what happened? When I went there, they, they were two, a, a very grown a man and a woman. They were the top, I mean, pay for executives, managers. Oh, Thomas. We heard that this and this and this happened. And uh, now we don't even know what to do. Mm. <laughs> we don't know. So what we are saying is that make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> you know, the same, but somebody else did that. They reported the person. He, he didn't do anything wrong, yeah. but they fired him. <laughs> the same case, they fired him. <laughs> I went and I said, Father, defend me. Amen. Yes. They didn't fire me. Yes. I was in the job Amen. until I stopped and I went to work in the prison. 
Texas prison. I worked there for four years. And look at what God did. He defended us. Amen. Amen. I pray that may the Lord be your cause for you. Amen. Whoever is sitting anywhere and speaking at this, may the Lord commend them until they come to you. Whoever has come near your husband, your wife, your business, your ministry, there are people who see in ministry now, man of God. You have to be very open your eyes. Mm. Not everybody around you loves you. Yes. Hey, they are people, they are in to destroy whatever yes. you are getting. Hey. But the fire of God will discipline them. Hey. 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 God yes. is going to expose them. Hey. 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 I said today, God did not bring me here for this. He brought me here for a purpose. Amen. Hey. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. I nearly lost, missed my flight. <laughs> I had to run. Look at me running. <laughs> run, run, run. My, I was, I was just, you see, I don't do exercise more. <laughs> <laughs> when I, I run, I started breathing as if I, I was tired. <laughs> I went into the plane and I fell sick. <laughs> because I don't do it every day. Yeah. So, look at that as DC efforts. Uh, Every far place, I have to be running, running. Yeah. The flight was about to take off around 5.30 in the morning. Mm. I got there 5.20. Wow. When I got there, it was only one person who was standing there. Mm. And look at what happened. I said, thank God. Amen. When I was coming, I said, God, this thing I have to go. Yeah. Because I know that when they are struggling, I know the devil does not want the people to hear this word. Right. But I need to go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So they stood there and they waited for me. Yeah. I opened them, I showed them my phone, I put everything on my phone, they scanned it, and I said, I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah. They took my bag, they said, I should take my bag inside. Now they took my bag and said, no, there is no space, so I'm going to put it there. I didn't pay for that because they charged for that. Yes. Yes. So I said, God, no. They are giving me double blessings. And here am I here. I know somebody is blessed here. Amen. Somebody is blessed. Amen. Because you didn't know, but I want you to know today. Listen, read my lips. There is power in you. Amen. There is authority in you. Exercise that power. Exercise that authority. Because we have sat down for the devil to fool us for too long. When he said you were wrong. When he said, hey, hey. 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 stop you. Because now the devil is working. Yeah, some of us, they are tempting us. Mm-hmm. Yes, recently, this little youngest, they are started tempting us all. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> for you, we don't share. <laughs> they are tempting all of us all. <laughs> so if I'm being tempted, then what are the church members going to do? <laughs> Please, they are tempting you. Pray for me. <laughs> when they see that there is a little loophole there, catch uh, fire, they, catch fire. To, they want to use their little that that little they shake their body and they come. <laughs> and I mean, you don't know where I'm coming from. Oh, oh hey. yeah, 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 yeah. you are using this little shaking. Shake. Oh, I have more in my house. <laughs> I, have I have my wife there. You can come and shake your body and this. <laughs> no, no, no. Pray to God. But keep on declaring. Yes, I said, though I walk through the valley yes, of the shadow of death, he that dwelleth in the secret place. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. He said, a thousand shall yes, fall in my side. Thousand, a thousand. You decree because whether you like it or yes, they will come. They will come. Don't stop talking. Keep declaring because you carry that power. You carry that authority. And I came here to release you into Amen. your power Amen. and into your authority. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. When that sickness comes in, sickness, <laughs> me, my body is busy. You Amen. can't stay in here. I command you to leave now. Now. By the power invested in me. Yes. Mm. Don't
understand that like this can be cancer and all. They say cancer. I've never gotten sick before. Mm. To the glory of God. Amen. Amen. I don't go to hospital. Mm. Well, my, my wife forced me to uh, go and do physicals. And she scheduled an appointment for me June 24th. This next week or something. Yeah. Because I don't go. Yeah. We are paying the money. I don't go. Yeah. I don't see I'm, I'm, I'm sick. Right. I get up and I'm always going. Hallelujah. I'm always going. Yeah. But yes, beloved, sir. it is because if you yes, know sir. what you possess, mm. if you know what you have, mm. if you know the God you are serving, mm. you will walk with a bold chest. And yes. people will say that you are too proud. It's not that proud mm. now because you know the one That's who is fighting right. you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. I'm going to end very soon. Should I go on? Yes, yes. Oh, you want more? Yes. Do you understand Masumiya Mudere? Your ears they sweet you more too much. Do you understand your ears they sweet you? You said I should go on, right? Because your ears, your ears they sweet you too much. Your ears they sweet you. We thank God so much. Amen. And Peter said unto him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ make it thee whole. Arise, make thy bed. And he arose with him. Acts 9.34. This is something that will happen in the account of Acts. It is through the power and authority. There are a lot of countless things. I mean, Jesus raised the dead. It is through the power and authority. If you have power and authority, the things that are dead in your life, you can resurrect it. Amen. I said Amen. you can what? Bring it back to life. Amen. You can bring it back. God is still in the miracle business. He has given us that power and authority to possess everything that we need to possess in this life. And beloved, you can use it. Don't play with it. I want us to rush and go through something else. Because this thing, I need to write a book and you are going to buy it by force. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Working in the power and authority. I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm starting, I've started gathering some points to put down. We are going to go through eight ways to connect with God's supernatural power. How you can connect. Number one, cultivate God's presence in your life. Cultivate what? God's presence, presence in, your life. in your life. The more you can cultivate an environment that is conducive to the Holy Spirit, the more, the, the more of God's presence you will carry. The more of His presence you carry, the more power you will have. Amen. So we got to cultivate God's what? Presence. presence. Don't cut the flow of God's presence in your life. And what, you, what will cause you not to cut that flow, to cultivate that presence is to pray in tongues. Mm -hmm. To begin to pray in the atmosphere. Anytime you need to just be praying, just open your mouth and begin to decree and declare some things. You begin to study the word. You don't cut the flow. Mm -hmm. If you want to cultivate, I always tell people, anywhere I go, I carry the presence with me. Mm -hmm. I carry the presence of God with me. Amen. Because he has given it to us freely. Yeah, amen. If you cultivate and exercise yourself through prayer, through the word, yeah. through holiness, mm -hmm. and you see, it's very difficult to be holy. Yes. Uh -huh. Very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. People can come intentionally, come and just, I mean, push you so that you will talk. Yes. And you will say. <laughs> but it's, you see, we force to be able to become a holy like amen. So you cultivate. That habit of carrying his presence with you every day, everywhere, Amen. that will cause you to possess his power. Amen. People tell me when you come and you release prayer, when you sing or something, you see that the place is shaking. Why? Because I always say, Father, let me go in your presence. Amen. I'm taking your presence with me. I'm taking you with me. I can't do by myself. Mm. That, is, that is what people must see in you. Anywhere you go, they must see the presence. Amen. Amen. That will cause the power to reside. Amen. Cultivate too. Cultivate God's faith in your heart. Through supernatural faith flows out of the spirit and affects the mind. Amen. Not the other way around. Faith defiles logic and natural reality for a higher spiritual reality. It causes natural things to line up with what God has already accomplished spiritually. Amen. You can read something from the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse uh, 2. That is to look up to him. Looking up to God, who is the all time finisher of your faith. That's right. You, gotta, you see, it's only him that can be 
that can make your faith grow. Amen. So you cultivate that habit. You see, if your faith grows, you grow in the things of God. Because it is through your faith that the power will be begin to work for you. If you don't have faith, the power cannot work. Amen. When you when you give authority, when you give orders, it will not come to pass. Because you, your faith, your faith itself is not is not high. You don't have any faith that will cause the mountains to move. So when you decree that this mountain move, because of your level of that faith, the mountain cannot move. But if you cultivate the habits of looking unto him, who is the altar. You see, you cannot build your faith by yourself. Look up to him. Amen. The more you look up to him, the more your faith is built. Amen. You'll be moving from the storms. You see, Jesus, when the storm came, look at what he did. He was sleeping. He got up and said, stop. Because he was a man of authority. Yes. He had faith. Yes. He walked on the wall. Today, go and try. You will draw. Because we don't have faith. Yes. <laughs> even when our children are sick, we will be crying. We can't even lay hands on them. Begin to lay hands on them. Mm. When you see that they are sick, don't go to emergency. Mm. Just lay hands first. Amen. Lay hands. They say, Father, I decree. You sickness, live. Shout. And then, then you see that your child will begin. Amen. There are some things that go to emergencies, not everything. I'm not saying emergencies are not good. It's good. Like if your child falls down and they get hurt or something, you don't have to say, I'm praying for the, the blood to go. You don't do that. You take them to emergency before the, before, before the baby loses the blood. But there are some things. You see that, that just recently, my wife got some stomach, something. She was. I, she was okay when I was leaving for work. And she called me. She was crying and she was feeling pain and blah, blah, blah. And the Lord with, uh, just opened my eyes and I saw that there were some spirit, there were some people who were speaking against her. It, it comes and goes. There is an attack. They want to make me lose my focus so that they, 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 they can do whatever they want to do. And I will leave some prayer. I call people and I said, let's pray. Something is happening right now. And I will begin to lay hands and we are praying and praying and praying and praying. And the Lord touch her. Amen. Amen. There are some things you know, I said, no, we are not going to an emergency. No more emergency. There are a lot of bills coming. Why should I go to emergency again? No. You are not going anymore. Sit down. We are going to pray for you. Amen. Get her cook and put salt in. She will be fine. <laughs> pray the wife and say, drink it. She lay hands. And it works. It works wrong. Free medicine. Free medicine. Amen. Oh, are you hearing me? Yes. Oh, yes. We hear you. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Oh, are you, are you, are you, are you okay? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Maybe the way you are looking at me, we are this man is very strong. Push him away and let him go. By the way, I'm going, I'm going the next morning. Quick. No, no, no. I'm going, I'm running away. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I have a conference in uh, Philadelphia. I have to go Saturday, Sunday. So, right from here, uh, maybe I'll sleep one hour, two hours, and I'll go. Wow. Amen. Amen. So, it's, it's a blessing. You have to catch this blessing before I go. The third one, add action to your faith. Amen. Amen. For you to be able to connect with God's supernatural power, yes. add action yes. to your faith. There are some Christians, I don't know what to worry them. Mm. They will pray, pray, pray without even doing anything. Mm. I, want her, I want my baby. I want baby pastor. I want you to pray for me. And you are sleeping and you wear jeans. Your mm. husband is coming close to you. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want your husband to come close to you. Yeah. <laughs> and you want a baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's very, it's very weird. Preach, preach, preach. Pray, pray, pray every day. Pray every day. When your husband is touching you a little bit, touching you somewhere a little bit, and you, you are running away. <laughs> so don't touch Say your kids. Don't touch it. You will never get that baby. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> without action. <laughs> to what? To your faith. Yeah. Faith without action. Yeah. 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 It's dead. It's dead. Yes. We know it. But the women see like they say it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> but when the husband is touching you, <laughs> oh, you cry, you worry me too much. I'm tired. Now, can't you see I'm tired? <laughs> but you want a baby. That's right. That is what the Bible says. We need to operate with wisdom. 
Yes, this sir. year is the year of wisdom. Oh, yes, yes, right. In all you're getting, get so wisdom. Get understanding. Get understanding. Get understanding. Yes, we pray, 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 pray. Every day you see Christians pray, go to Africa. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, blah, blah. And you want your job to move on. Meanwhile, your store is being closed and you are praying. So if somebody wants to buy something, you want them to come to the church. <laughs> Hello, man of God, they don't buy my things, so you are always in church every day. How will they buy your things? Common sense. Waste up. Let's use your waste up. Anything you want to do. Anything you want to do. Add action with your faith. Allow your husband to have sex with you. Have babies. After you pray, don't go and say, Oh, me, I, I'm tired, don't need it, don't touch me, I don't need it, I don't. And you come and you cry to God. Look at what Hannah did. Uh-huh. Hannah went after praying, Hannah went to sleep with her husband. Mm-hmm. God did not throw someone to Hannah. Mm-hmm. She, has to, she has to go and lay down That's right. with her husband. Please, let's have action. And the next one, the fourth one, passionately pursue spiritual gifts. Mm. First Corinthians 14 1 tells us to earnestly desire spiritual gifts. Passionately. Right now I'm preaching. You see something that I'm doing and you love it. You can design it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to preach like this man. I want to touch life like this man. Mm-hmm. I want to sing like the prophets. I want to do this. You see, there are some things you have to passionately desire it. Spiritual gift. It makes you grow spiritually. Amen. And you possess the power. Oh. You can sit in your room and pray. And that prayer will go through the courthouse. And defend you. Amen. 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 Develop yourself in the prayer. Amen. The area of prayer. Amen. The area of discernment. Discernment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you see that when you sit down and you say something, it goes, it goes, it travels to where it has to go. The vibration, you have your green card, it's hanging, it's sitting sit there, it's sitting there. Some of your documents, they are sitting there. Mm-hmm. And you are here eating banku and what food? What are some of you? <laughs> What? Kisra. Kisra. And what? Asida. Come. 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 You see, you are eating different kinds of food. What's your green card and everything you see in there? And then you bless it. And every day you worry past it. You don't want us to sleep. So, Pastor, my, my green card, though, you see people be calling you every day. At times, people call me and I say, these people, they are calling too much. <laughs> Let me chop my laugh a little bit. I don't get time for my wife and the kids. Now, if you have developed yourself spiritually, there are some things you don't call a pastor. Mm-hmm. Come on. That's what you want. Mm-hmm. We, are, we are also human beings. Mm-hmm. Allow us to enjoy our wives and our husbands. That's right. Amen. 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 Now, if you want something, call the evangelist and the prophetess and call them. Don't call me. Let them take care of you. Okay. If you want to pay time, bring it to me. If you want to call them, you hear it? If you want to bring it to me, that's why you can come. Yes. But if you want to bring problems, give it to them. Give it to them. Take care of you. Amen. 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 Develop yourself spiritually. And that is what is going to cause you to possess power. How amazing is that you can stand at a place and declare it in, and the thing will work out. You don't know in a secret what they do. Yes. They have developed themselves in spiritual. Praying every day, fasting every day. Some of you can't even fast. American food is many, you see many food you go to the you, go, you see a lot of food, like this food, I should sleep this food and fast. No. Lama Tofiapa. You'll be eating every day. You can't fast. Some of us will be fasting ah, and our stomach will be big because I don't eat well. 
I don't, when I even fast and break, I don't get good food. I don't eat well. I just pick something and eat. So you see that every day my stomach will be swollen. And, oh, you are getting big. Oh, you said you don't know. I'm fasting every day, but I'm still getting big. <laughs> because I know there are some calories you have to get. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't get it, Definitely, you are not going to lose weight. Rather, you are going to walk again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of praying for church members and people and <laughs> developing ourselves so that when they come, we'll be able to solve their problems by the power of God mm-hmm. and the, 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 the way we have developed ourselves. But I want you to also develop yourself spiritually. Yeah. What do you desire to do? What do you desire in the things of God? He has so many gift things he has given up to us. Begin to Pick the one you want to go for mm. and develop yourself. Amen. Enough of every day, Pastor, pray for me. Pastor, I need, oh, Pastor, I need, Pastor, touch me. No more touch. <laughs> <laughs> Practice prayer and fasting. I've come here. No Matthew 17, 14 to 21. Give an account of the healing of an uh, epileptic boy. The disciples couldn't cure him. See, the disciples. In, some, in a way, some of them, like, they have not developed so much at that time. So you see now, you have to develop yourself spiritually. And it is through prayer and fasting. Yes. So the prayer they prayed for that epileptic boy didn't go through. But Jesus did it. Why? Because he always said, wait, I'm coming. Then he goes to the mountain and he goes and pray to the Father. Whilst they, they are sleeping, he will come and see them sleeping. So he couldn't even wait for one hour. <laughs> And that is what many of us will do. We can't even pray. We sleep and eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. We sleep, eat, we sleep, eat with 365 days a year. <laughs> there are people that don't, they have never fasted before. When you mention pa- uh, fasting as a pastor, they will not come to church. That day they will not come. Yes. <laughs> they will sit home and eat. They will let's sleep that pastor. Let him do his fasting. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Learn to hear God's voice. That's also another point. That's right. Learn to hear God's voice. To operate in the supernatural, we must develop a keen sensitivity to the person of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the person, the third person of the Trinity. So learn, learn to hear the voice of God. You can do that through the Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Amen. Just be friendly with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And stop that gossip. Yes. Every Amen. Every day we gossip about people. Yes. Mm. Maybe there are some things people can, cannot say. I will say it. But when I say it, I will run away. Nobody can do anything. I'm right. I'm going. <laughs> so just gossip. The women, you are, you are familiar with gossip. <laughs> oh, look at that pastor. The way he has been dressed. Look at this. The African way. The way. Some of you are even saying it right now. <laughs> <laughs> look at Amen. That. Yeah, look at that man. Now, look at that man. He thinks it is his is, is Africa where it's nice. It's not nice. That's what's nice. We are not lying. That's true. That's true. Look at, him, look at this man. Look at his long cross. As if he's the one who, who, who killed Jesus. <laughs> about me. 
If God is not saying anything, I will not tell you. I can't force myself and tell, tell you something. But God is going to push you Amen. into your power and Amen. the Amen. You will never leave this conference mm. and be the same. Hallelujah. And God has said that year by this time you will bring testimonies. Amen. 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 Because anywhere you go, signs, wonders, and miracles will follow you. Amen. Amen. That is what power and authority can do to you. Very quickly, I'm ending. Associate with the anointing. How can you associate with the anointing? Mm -hmm. Find a man of God, a woman of God that is anointed more than you. More than you. And make sure mm -hmm. that you subject yourself under the authority. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be anointed. That's right. Find their books, read. Mm -hmm. It's very unfortunate I've not started writing my books. I have a lot of books there, but I have not brought it out. But I thank God because some of those things help a lot of people that are far from us. They get a book, they read, and they catch the anointing. You listen to my videos, you watch my videos face to face, and you desire. You see that the anointing will pass through the way mm -hmm. and you go to the anointing. Mm -hmm. It depends on how serious you are. If you need anointing, familiarize yourself with the anointed people. Mm -hmm. Read their books, watch their videos, study them, and, and humble yourself under the other people are not ready to humble. Mm -hmm. If I'm telling you where God picked me from, uh -huh. and the people have said, and how humble have become from that time to today, that time you say that I'm a fool, a student. But now I've gotten something I wanted. Amen. God has imparted something in Amen. me. Amen. Today when I sit on the Facebook and begin to minister, there are a lot of thousands and millions of people watching and they are saved. I don't even know some of them. They call me man of God. Whenever I'm not there, they are calling me. Why are you, why are you not preaching today? Because they know that is something that is helping them every day. Amen. Amen. That's right. So if I, become, I became a fool yesterday, today I'm not a fool. Yeah. I was a fool. Yeah. And I've gotten what I want to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I iron, I brush, I mean, polish their shoes, men of God. Yeah. I do so many things. I go and preach for them, do something for them. I don't take any money. I don't do anything. I, what I do is that I just go to subject mm -hmm. myself. Because if you don't subject yourself under authority, mm -hmm. you can never get authority. Mm -hmm. You can never get power. Mm -hmm. Always humble. You see, humility is nothing. It's nothing. Yes. If you humble yourself, you are building your kingdom. Amen. You are building your future. Yes. Because you don't know one day you also stand and begin to preach in conferences. You lay hands on the sick, you will begin, you will speak, and things will happen. And, and, and you will even forget that you were the one that was humble. Amen. Jesus was humble. He was God. But he did not touch it robbery to be with God. Philippians 2, verse 5 going down. And, and the Bible says that he was obedient even at the point of death. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You can't be anointed if you can't humble. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. When you see anointing, you are happy. Oh, this man is good. Oh, hey, this man. Uh. But you don't want to humble. And you want to become them. No, you can't. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can't. Lastly. Five reasons why believers don't walk in the power and the anointing and the authority. Five reasons. Number one, sin. 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 S-I-N. The reason why we can't walk, or most of us don't walk in the power, is that we sin too much. Mm -hmm. The fornication is too much. That's right. Am I, are you here? That's right. Yes. Amen. When we habitually sin, mm -hmm. we come under Satan's authority. That's right. So it is only sin. That to move you away from that authority and that part. Mm -hmm. We are under the authority of God. The moment you take that step of sin, mm -hmm. the devil will be using the remote like using you know, like a remote control. Hey, go, go here. Hey, hey, go here. Then you go. Because you are no more under the authority of God. Mm -hmm. So it is only sin that will move you away from his power right. and his authority. Right. Number two. Amen. 
I don't want to read more. James 5 verse 16 says, The effective, fervent prayer, prayer of, the of the righteous man of the much. So when you sin and you pray for forgiveness and you leave, mm -hmm. you can come back to the power. Mm -hmm. But if you continue to sin, you can't. Number two, the reason why many believers don't walk in the power is because of ignorance. Mm -hmm. Hosea 4 6. My people are destroyed for lack of what? No. We are ignorant. Second Corinthians 10, 3 to 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war against the flesh. For the weapon of our welfare are not carnal. But the Almighty, through God, in the, in the pulling out strong, was casting by imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bring it into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Christ. So ignorance is also part of it. That's right. We walk not in the physical. But in the spiritual. Amen. They are fights against us if you don't know. So ignorance is also one factor. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, you don't know. Mm -hmm. That is why today I came to tell you that we possess his power and his authority. Mm -hmm. He has given unto us. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is to embrace it and do what you have to do to maintain his power and authority. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't say habitually. We sin too much. Mm -hmm. Every day, we will go and sin. We will go and gossip. We will go and talk about people pulling people down, even in the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Pulling people down. Mm -hmm. The person stand there and do praise and worship because of that, you don't like the person. The way she sings, the way. Mm -hmm. I don't know why people That's try right. to just do, find themselves in sin like that. Mm -hmm. You call yourself a child of God and you don't, your spirit do not love somebody in That's the church. Right. Then you are not a child of God. Yeah. Especially a man of God praying that another man of God, because he's preaching about holiness, preaching about the word of God, preaching good, and then they are just walking around and not doing anything with titles, and because of that they will be they will be speaking against him. Mm. They will be praying. What kind of prayer? Who, yeah. Which God did they even pray to? Which God? Which God did they even pray to? And you sit there and you pray against Apostle Tom Hamble. Mm -hmm. They will die. Aye. Mm -hmm. They will die. And I was shocked. Mm. What have I done? <laughs> I'm doing what God has called me to do. Do yours. We are all one in, in Christ. Yes. So why do you fight me? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because they are evil. They are not from God. Mm. Yeah, and, and, and a kingdom that, that is divided. Come on. Right. Yes. 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 You cannot stand. Yes. If you call yourself a child of God, we are serving the same God. So why this hatred? Oh, they are wizards and witches. Amen. They are men of God. That are Amen. Really That's true. Because what we are doing, they can't do. That's and instead right. of them trying to learn, mm. <laughs> they don't learn. Mm. It's not about pride, but it is about you subjecting yourself under his authority. He can Amen. use he can use a donkey. Yes. Hey, feel his purpose. <laughs> don't okay. have much more human beings. God uses donkey to fulfill his purpose. That's right. right. And that is what they know. That I don't know whether they read their Bibles or not. Mm. The third one is unbelief. Romans 14, 23. Another reason why many believers are not able to walk in the power. I know some of you are tired. No, yeah. no, no. Man. Some of you are tired. Go ahead. Me, today, today, not today. today when I came, look at, I said, I was very, very tired and hungry. Very, very. But I got something little and put it in here. And I sustained me up to, to right now. I'm still standing on my feet. And you are sitting down. <laughs> if you are not careful, you are all going to stand up right now. So you better sit up. Say, but the man who has doubt is content if he eats. Because his eating is not from faith. Mm. And everything that does not come from faith is sin. Unbelief is a sin. Do you know that? Mm. Mm. Right. Yes. It's a subset. It's part of sin. Exactly. Mm. See to it, brothers, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. 
Unbelief is so serious that Jesus could not do many miracles. Even his, in the old world, his, 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 whole, um, his hometown. Mm -hmm. So he moved the, the, the headquarters to Campania mm -hmm. because his own people did not believe him. Mm -hmm. You may be sitting here, your own people may not believe you. Right. Yeah. And it's a sin. Mm -hmm. No matter how prayer, the tender, mm -hmm. tender, shows prayer you pray, mm -hmm. how that you can pray tongues and mm -hmm. nothing will happen because they themselves, That's they right. don't believe. That's right. That's right. It's a sin. Mm -hmm. And that is the reason why many of us can walk mm -hmm. in the power and authority of God. Unbelief. Mm -hmm. We are too much. It's too much. And of course, Papa Fear is here. Papa Fear. Fear is also the next step. <laughs> fear is also one thing yes. that prevents us. We fear too much. Too much. Any little thing. Tonight we are going to pray for those that have that spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. We are going to pray them out. Man. You need to move. Jesus. You can't walk in the power and authority when you have fear in you. No. Yes. We can't do that. So first, second Timothy 1, 7 to 8 declares, God has not given us a spirit of fear. But of power of love and of what sound by fear paralyzes us and keeps us from wielding the authority we have in God to bring healing to others. First John 5 18 teaches that the wicked one does not touch that whoever is born of God. But some people have suffered blackish from the enemy when they engage in spiritual warfare and are now afraid. So fear is also another thing that prevents us not to be able to walk. And the last one, of course, is prayerlessness. Prayerlessness. A prayerless Christian is what? A powerless what? Mm -hmm. You don't even know. Prayerless Christian is what? A powerless Christian. Mm -hmm. If you don't pray, you, you don't, don't have, have no power. power. Very simple. You can't walk in the power and authority of God if you are not a prayer person. Mm -hmm. So prayerlessness is also part of it. Please, begin to pray. Muslims pray five times a day. How many times do you pray? <laughs> Even one time you are struggling. You will be praying hard and you will be sleeping. Oh Lord, uh, you know the prayer is on the wall. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> and you will be dozing. You will be snoring here and there. People come to prayer line and they will be sleeping. Am I like, I'm, 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 yes, that's true. I know some people sleep on them. These people are praying, shout, 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 and you are sleeping. <laughs> Those people, they need, we need to lay our legs on them. <laughs> <laughs> because you can't come. That once people are praying, and you are sleeping. Hey. I don't understand it. <laughs> While we are praying, blah, 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 tongues, people are praying, and you are. <laughs> <laughs> or is it a way of praying? <laughs> or they are snoring or something? <laughs> May God deliver you from that spirit of prayer. And may you begin to walk in the power and authority. Amen. 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 I believe that tonight, most of you are blessed. Amen. I will pray for people here. And I, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. I want men of God come and help me. I want us to pray for her. Amen. We want to commission her into something yes. that God has laid on her. Amen. Can you get me the oil? You can just stand here. Or you can just come stand here. Love me, we are praying for her. Amen. Uh, I may not be here tomorrow, so I want to do my and go. Amen. And uh, we will meet maybe sometime. Jehovah Shammah people, well, let me see your hands. Jehovah I mean, see your faces on there. This is me, you know me. Yes. This is me. Yes. Uh, people, people came and said, I'm also, I'm also told, I thought maybe you, you don't know my face. So, now I know your face. I know this, yeah, I know some faces that I saw on the, on the video. On the video, okay. Wow. We want to pray for this great man of God. Amen. The work, the work is very, very difficult. Amen. It's not easy. But we believe that when God calls, He empowers. Amen. I know that the one who has called her will surely empower her. Amen. Because God spoke to me. 
way some time ago that this is not just for Jehovah Shammah. God is going to command, use you to bring all people Amen. together. You have to, you have to Amen. pray through that and you have to start from somewhere. Amen. Don't lose hope. Don't give up. Amen. You hear people say so many things yes. that will bring your heart and your spirit down, but never. The more they say it, the more you keep on doing it. Amen. 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 Let's keep on going. Because you don't have to be around such people. Mm -hmm. Let them say it. All those people, they will come and they will go. Yes. The real people God has given you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I tell you. Thank so we are going to pray. Yes. And we are going to tell the Lord that may he empower her. Amen. Amen. And may he strengthen yes. her. Amen. Faith. Yes, yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Whatever yes. attack that is coming from within that and without. Mm -hmm. Because even though your own people that you think they love you, yeah. They will fight against you. Yes. But don't give up. Amen. Right. Keep on. Amen. Winds are going to be blowing yes. from front back. Thank you, Jesus. You're going to stand in the middle of those winds. And don't be shaken. And don't give up. Amen. God will take you higher. Amen. Right this time, it will come to pass. Amen. The next time you come, we are not going to sit only a few people. It's yes. going to be the place where we are. Amen. 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 They are all going to come and look at what is going on here. Amen. Amen. Because God is going to do so many things. Hallelujah. And as you are here, if you live in this land here, start talking to people about Jehovah Shema. Yeah. Start talking to people about what he is doing. Yeah. Connect them to what they are, we are all doing, Amen. the prayers and everything. And next year, you are not coming alone. Amen. You are coming with a lot of people. Amen. Amen. So make up your let's go now. And let's pray for the great man of God here. The work of an evangelist is very, very dangerous. Where pastors cannot go, you have to go. What they cannot say, you have to say. Don't say and say, I apologize. Say it as it is. Because that is how God has called you. Yes. And if you don't walk in your calling, you'll be going in circles in ministry and you'll never go anywhere. That's right. If I say and I hurt you and you change, I've done my job. Mm -hmm. If I don't say it yes. and you keep on your blood, mm -hmm. the blood of those people will be it's on in your head. head. Yeah. May God strengthen you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Father, I pray mm -hmm. that you will strengthen her mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. As your servants.
in your life right now from today. From today, fire, fire. Let's touch it. In the name of Jesus. Father, may you strengthen me. Strengthen his faith. Now, 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 now. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray. May you continue to increase her faith. Strengthen her. Let her begin to walk in the power and in authority. The family, I pray for your family. Use you as a point of contact. Amen. And may you all be strengthened. Amen. And may you run through the truth. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray. In the name of Jesus. Let your fire flow. Let your fire flow. Let your fire flow. Strength. 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 I take away every fear. Every fear must leave you now. Every fear must leave you now. Every fear must leave you now. In the name of Jesus. Any kind of fear. Any kind of fear. We set you free. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray. I command your woman for her service for your kingdom. Hey! I pray for strength. Double portion. Save her. Strength. Power. In the name of Jesus. Let me begin to see your grace and your anointing in her life. In Jesus name. Father, I pray. In the name of Jesus, I commend your woman unto you. I pray that from today may you empower her. May you fill her with your power. In the name of Jesus, your grace. Let it be abound in her life. Let her begin to walk in that power and authority. Whatever is fighting against her today, we cut it out. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray. In the name of Jesus. We commit to God your many servant into your hands. I pray that even as I anointed her hands, Father, may her hand never lack rain. May her hand never lack oil. Whatever your hand touches, it will be a blessing. Whatever you set, fire will come down. Whatever you decree, it will come to pass. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you can come out for me. Let's come out. If I have not prayed for you, just come out. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Just be in a line. We want to pray for you. We want to pray for you. You may be watching me. And you want us to pray for you specially about something. Just come. I want to speak over your life. I pray for you. You can go back. Father, in the name of Jesus. Fill her with your fire. With your fire. Now! 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 Jesus! Receive In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We commit her into your hands. Pray for favor. Pray for favor. Favor! Whatever you are searching for. I don't know. Are you looking for something? Are you waiting for something? Do you need something? Are you, something? Are you, are you waiting for something? Oh, yes. It says a lot. A lot. Yeah. Today. Take it. Take it. Now. In the name of Jesus. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Come. I'll be down here. That's a little one. Pray for focus. You have to be focused. Okay? You understand it? You have to be focused. Don't be. Who is your man? Okay. You have to watch her. She is going to be very great. Amen. But if you are not careful, social media, phones, and all those stuff will, dis will cause her not to be focused. There are so many things, distractions coming. But she is going to be great. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's look at me. Receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, she yonder over here. May God. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Come, 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 come. Don't fear. Lift up your head. Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. May God bring good news to the Father. Yes. If she will bring anything, let it be good news. Amen. I cut off any disobedient spirit. Amen. Out of the life. Yes, Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for her too. Let your grace be so strong. Amen. 
Something you want the Lord to do for you, something you desire. Say that in one day and receive it. There is something you you are going through. There is something. Just tell me. Yes. Uh, I wanted to get to know him more. more. Okay. You have asked for something powerful. Father, I pray. That may you establish it in you. Amen. 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 I plant you in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. No more sorrow. Never. No more sorrow. No more. No more. No more. No more. Thank you, Jesus. Ouch. Today, from today, your life is standing Hallelujah. three systems. Amen. Anymore. You are Thank not going you, through Jesus. any pain anymore. Thank Jesus. you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray. You two, what do you want? You, are you married? You need a husband? Yes. Sure? Yes. <laughs> am I? Yes, am I? Are you ready for a husband? Yes. And you are going to give birth to you are going to give birth to twins. Okay. I need to take my person telling me this. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> twins. When you give birth to them, bring them to me. <laughs> to be boys. Because I only have twins. God did not give me my soul. <laughs> So Father, I pray. But I love the girls. The girls are nice. Yes. They can cook for me. <laughs> and when they are married, I'll just go and take their bright eyes. Father, I pray. Hallelujah. Release a husband. Thank you. A godly husband. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. That somebody has said yes. in the ground again said that she will not marry. Yes. Okay. I set you free. Now, today I take off that veil. Yes. Now, you are going to marry. Amen. You are going to marry by force. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Today, I cut them off into pieces. Now, 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 now. now. You have to pray for me. You, don't okay. uh, you, you have to be praying for me. Okay. Not anoint. I said you have to be praying. Okay. What what prayer do you need? Okay. You do need a husband, I know. <laughs> Father bless. Father bless him so that I will be free. <laughs> Father <laughs> bless her with the husband so that I will have a peace of mind. I pray and I will bless you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we leave. Open that door. Mm. I pray for special favor. 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 Favor, 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 favor. Now, in the name of Jesus, may your husband connect to you. Amen. Wherever they are, wherever he is, may you be connected. Amen. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Man of God, I pray for this ministry. I pray that may God from today, yes, may God turn things around. Everyone in the ministry, I pray that God will take you to the next level. Amen. Father, I pray. You are you are having a ministry just that you have to know your area of calling. 
And when you get to know that area of calling, you will run like something. <laughs> you begin to operate like something. <laughs> but now it's like you are, you are in a, you may be doing something, but find your real ministry. God is raising you as an intercessor. Amen. Receive it. Receive it. Now. Now. Father, I pray out of a bed. Let it flow. Let it flow. Pray. 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 Jesus. Jesus name. So as I stand here, I decree. That may this place be on fire. Amen. Amen. Even as our feet have set this place, may God glorify Himself. Hallelujah. May the fire begin to flow. Amen. Whoever that is sick, when they step here, they will be healed. Amen. Whoever that has any problem, Father, when they enter here, the problem will be solved. Amen. I decree and I declare. So shall it be. You are here and you have a problem with your green card, documents, anything. Come, I want to pray for you. Any documents, you have a problem with your documents, with your green card, with your whatever. Please don't do that. Come, I don't want to do that. You want to marry, right? I'm already. You are married, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Yeah. Oh, were you the one? Yeah. yeah. I saw you dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you. Why is your husband? At work. He should have brought you here. Yeah. So that I also bless you. Mm-hmm. But I pray that in the next year, by next year this time, may God open your womb. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And you will see it, your baby. Amen. 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 You are a good person. Keep being good. Amen. Don't let friends talk to you. Yeah. Don't allow friends. This one, I'm going to pray for you, but I want to stop the prayer and you see something. Some people will be talking to you. They will try to plan and destroy your marriage. Mm. Be careful. Yeah. Ooh. Please, when they come, I will not pray now, but I want them to come. When they come, don't listen to them. Now, take, take my number, then you call me that. Then you pray. You send them away from you. Amen. Because they are people, they are enemy of progress. Yes. Your marriage is going to be the best. Hallelujah. Yes. Please don't forget our listener to you. Today I don't know. I came because of the Jews also part of this. Yes, yes. She is the reason why I came. Hallelujah. Once I was preaching, I saw the fire of God around me. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So okay. be very, very careful. And don't, don't play around. Mm. Set God well. Amen. See, your marriage and your service to God is what will make you break through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mama, you are, you are not married. Don't stop that old stuff. Don't allow anybody around you. Mm. And mm. set your Amen. You see that you begin to get money. God is going to bless you. Amen. Mm-hmm. I, don't <laughs> 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 I want to go and do um, prayer. Uh, I want to build a prayer cathedral in Ghana mm-hmm. where people have to come and pray. I will not, not charge them. They will come pray. They will come and worship God. Be there 24 7. Mm-hmm. Of mm-hmm. and I want to do that. Mm-hmm. So now I've started working on that. Mm-hmm. So I want people to support. We need to support. It's for everybody. Mm-hmm. So please, that is why at times I say that when God blesses some of you guys, sign the check, big one. Go use it for. Yeah. And anytime when people come there, you see that. Your problem will be solved because yeah. your money is in there. Yeah. Yeah. So may God bless every one of you. Amen. Who loves me here? Amen. 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 You all love me. Amen. If you love me, come, come close. Amen. Amen. I want everybody to get blessed. Put 50 
dollars in right now. If you don't have it, you are going to bring it tomorrow morning and get it from everybody. $50. If you have it here, put it here. Put it and I will just pray for you. I guess so. If you have it here, just bring it here. And say that they, they will put money at the apostles' feet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I'm here. Put the money down, let's go. You said you love me. Show me your love. <laughs> If you don't have it borrow, you want me to borrow, you want to borrow for me. May your hand never lack for you. In Jesus' name. Receive it. Father, may you bless it. Ah, you, you have been talking on the prayer line, right? Yeah. But you are causing me. I, I hear you. You are always talking, talking, talking. Is that you? But I like, I like him. He, love, he loves to pray too. When I come, he is always preaching. Yeah. May God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Okay. God bless you. God, even God bless you for even bringing what you have. Amen. Yeah. Please. Now, you see, I said money. Now, all those who love you, they have put their hands down. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the money here, right? Please, let's support it. Let's support it. When you are coming tomorrow, come and sow a seed for them. I'll be praying for you guys. God bless you. I know if you have money, you bring it. But you, you are, you are rich woman. You have to bring the money. <laughs> okay? You have to. And you too. Okay. Bring it tomorrow. So when God blesses you, how many of you are going to buy a car for me? <laughs> Please, let me see your hands. Because some of you, the way you are going to get blessed, car will be something small. Amen. I'm telling you. Yes. We will have a limited wealth. We will have a limited wealth. Everyone in this country has a limited wealth. So don't find limited wealth. You know what I'm doing here? When you go to the house of God as a pastor and you don't teach the people how to be, the people will get broke. The men of God are not teaching the people. Giving in the church is a blessing. We, every day we throw money away without getting anything out of it. But we throw them away. But when it comes to the house of God, we find, you see, the reason why we can't give in a church is that the devil is preventing you. Because he knows you are going to be blessed. That's for sure. So please, try to, at least the little you have, give. And tell them, the Lord that this is in my seed for you. Let it grow for me. Amen. And you see, lift up your hands and let's pray. Father, I thank you for the life of everyone here. They have received your word. The Bible says that your word does not come until for it to be accomplished. The purpose for it is to be to ourselves. I pray that may your word have a great impact in the life of your people. May your people begin to walk in your power and in your authority. That from today, your life will turn around. Amen. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We commit the rest of this conference into your hands. Tomorrow, let this place depart. Let souls come from the north to the from the south, from the east, from the west. And let this place be filled. I commit the ministers that are going to continue this program into your hands. Father, let your fire proceed out of their mouth. Now, anywhere that they speak, it will transform lives. Father, they will impart your people. We thank you. We give you all the glory for answered prayer. Mm -hmm. Father, even as I will continue to travel back to Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. I pray for strength. Mm -hmm. You yes. brought me here. Yes. Father, cover me. Yes. The pilots, whoever that is taking me from here mm -hmm. to Atlanta, from Atlanta to Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. Father, come and be the pilot. Yes. Take me there. Let wonder signs and miracles. Yeah. Father, fill the place. Yeah. And 
Father, we will say that of a truth. Mm-hmm. You have done it. Mm-hmm. We thank you. Thank you. Even as I celebrate my 12 years anniversary mm-hmm. on Sunday, mm-hmm. Father, continue to protect me and my family. Yes, May we get more years yes. in love and in their marriage. Yes. And bless my children. Yes. That they will also get good husbands. Yes. And they will also live long and celebrate yes. their anniversary. Yes. Bless those that need husbands and wives here too. Yes. That they will also get their husbands and their wives. Yes. Anyone that need anything spiritual and physical, yes. Father, provide it unto yes. them. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Now may the peace of God that transcends every understanding rest upon every one of you now and forever Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 May God bless you. Amen. God bless you. I love you all. I appreciate you so much for accepting the word of God. I know that you are blessed. Amen. The, way, the way you were laughing and the way you were, you were making I know you, you, were, you laughed. Amen. 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 I will see you again. Amen. You have to serve to knock up. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's go out to our hands with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's give a standing hallelujah. Let's stand our feet and give our glory for the presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. My spiritual father, hallelujah. I thank God for giving the body in a special way. Hallelujah. For taking out his time to be with us.
God glory. We give him honor. We give him praise. Hallelujah. Just a praise of God. Just to tell God, thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you. And we cry, oh.
free now. If you cannot overcome the emotion, you cannot come out of the prison, there is something is wrong. Tomorrow, I tell you that devil in your heart must have to get out in the name of Jesus. That you may have to be free in the name of Jesus. I am not preaching, but I'm full of it. Because the Lord gave me a vision about this. The only time when God is writing his people, the enemy whispers. There are so many students in this city here. And if I have to say, come tonight, we're coming to dance and do all this crazy thing, because I used to be crazy. I'm not talking about you crazy. Because I used to be a party person. So, the people will be here everywhere. This room will be full. There is no place. But the devil know, as long as they're calling in Jesus, and the Jesus is the very thing will take them to heaven. When they die, the soul have to go somewhere. So the devil lied to them. Oh, don't go over there. Who is over there? Who is making this conference? Oh, don't worry about it. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. You hear that coincidence tonight? Tomorrow bring three, five people with you. Because God is about to bring a break off in this city. As the man of God said, this church will never be the same again. And this ministry will never be again the same. This is spirit of division must have to go. The spirit of jealousy might have to go. This competition I have to stop. This philosophy and liars have to go. The people of God must have to be free. The house has to be in order. Hallelujah. Every marriage broken has to be settled in the underblood of Jesus Christ. That's the problem we have. But you bring you bring me over here. You bring me over here, you get it tomorrow because God is about to walk the devil out of your house. The devil out of your house. We are so oppressed people when the Lord already give us the spirit that we are supposed to be free. You know, we dress nice, we come, we dance, but we are so down. The spirit of heaviness is killing us. The spirit of heaviness must have to go. So it is time to be free. My Lucy does not come here for nothing. Because I have so many stuff that I can do. Yeah. But because she has paid and she has prayed and when she called me, I almost missed it because my schedule is all booked up until December. Yeah. But when she called me, I said, give me, let me pray and see what I can fix here. And I never know I fix myself for the whole month. I'm not in my house. Yeah. I'm here this week. Next week I'll be in South Dakota. The following week I'll be in Dallas. The other week they called me to go to Utah. I've been everywhere. You are blessed. I want to tell you, not because of me, but because God doesn't send me to the places or the people that God sent me here, not for nothing. This is the people that are appointed by God. Amen. She had this is the first conference. Amen. And can you believe? God is doing something. Yes. Amen. I talk with Minister about this. I say, why did she put three of us to speak in one day? Because we need a room. And now we have one of the brothers stuck. And when God is doing the work, let us let God do the work because I believe there is a word coming forward. Tonight you already have the water being stored. And if you don't go and pray like he said, you will miss this anointing that God is bringing in this house. So, before I take off on Sunday from this city, something must have to happen. 